The changes that have taken place uh, in the HBA over the last 25 years since Bryce first joined. Back in those days it was more of a social thing than, than uh, the way it is now with, with all of the government issues and things that we, we do. We're very involved in even uh, issues on the federal level. Um, we've become a, a, a very viable um, resource in the community. And uh, I think that's all, all uh, has a lot to, to do with Bryce. Uh, Bryce has a sense uh, with her connections in town uh, between the uh, city, county, uh, and other public officials, um, whether it's legislators, you name it, I think she, she seems to know issues before the rest of us have even heard it, which is disappointing because a lot of times I want to think I hear something first, but it doesn't happen too often with Bryce. And, and, and by doing so, we are always at the forefront of whether it's, whether it's a battle, whether it's just information to our members about what's coming. Um, we are we're always on top of it. Some of the differences that I see in uh, the HBA where it is today from where it was prior to Bryce coming, I would have to say that uh, the tremendous growth that we have had in membership and also in membership involvement. I've been involved in the HBA for several different stints earlier in my career and I hadn't been around much and uh, Bryce actually came to my office and she was wondering if I was mad about something because I wasn't involved very much. But anyway, um, but that impressed me because Bryce has always been a person that just kind of takes the bull by the horns and meets things head on and she wanted to know if there was a problem. And um, <clears throat> after that I started getting involved again more and, and Bryce uh, actually was the one that, that uh, encouraged me to to uh, be on the executive committee and, and get in line to be uh, serve, serve as a term as president. And so uh, I've always been appreciative of that because it, it probably was one of the, the most enjoyable times of my career. So Describing Bryce in one word is a little difficult, but I think the one that probably comes to mind for me is dedication. So some of the things that I've been able to accomplish since being a member of Home Builders success of our business, I have to kind of uh, attribute to home builders. And that's all due to her leadership. The two that traits of hers that I think really make her stand out, it, it, first of all, it would be passionate about what she does. Um, there's never a question about where Bryce, Bryce's heart lies um, other than in this organization and trying to make it the, the best one. The qualities that have made Bryce a successful leader over the years is that she is tenacious. Uh, she doesn't show it, but she is a pit bull. She's, uh, she's very, uh, she, she presents herself well, she's very cordial, but when she needs to get something done, she is focused. And I think that that has really been uh, a contributing factor of where the HBA is today. Uh, can I use tool? Pool shark. <laughs> oh, no matter what city you're in, if Bryce can find a pool table, you're there until closing time and they kick you out. <laughs> She's the best pool pl women pool player I know, but then I only know one. <laughs> There's a memory of Bryce that always has stuck in my mind. Uh, it was at a general membership meeting, and at that time, we were trying to lighten things up, and we had a hypnotist that uh, was uh, giving a little bit of a show. And so they were looking for volunteers to come up on stage, and so Bryce was one. There was one scene where the hypnotist told Bryce, okay, you're driving down the, down the street and you're just kind of listening to your radio and going along and all of a sudden somebody pulls out on you. What do you do? She flipped him off. <laughs> so that's why, like I said, Bryce comes across as being very 
mellow and mannerly and whatnot, but there's a side to her when she needs to be, she, she can pretty much let it, uh, let somebody have it. So it always kind of stuck with me, it's kind of funny. I think one of the greatest achievements that uh, Bryce had during her uh, years here was when uh, we were on a collision course with the uh, federal EPA and several builders were in huge pr trouble, but of course our whole industry was being affected and, and um, <clears throat> of course a lot of us worked on that, but, but Bryce kind of organized the whole thing and, and, and uh, <clears throat> actually got the federal people to come to Fargo and sit down and visit with us and, and, uh, and, and work out the problems that we were having with, uh, with the EPA. She involved uh, uh, Senator Conrad, who was a huge help, and, and um, I think it probably was one of her greatest achievements. Congratulations, Bryce, for some of the best 25 years of my life and, um, and being fortunate to have spent those with you and the direction that you've given the Home Builders Association of Fargo-Moorhead is unimpeccable, so thanks again. Congratulations, Bryce, on uh, 25 years. Just a tremendous accomplishment. Uh, the association is a much better uh, organization under your leadership. I have to say that when you first were put into the position of executive officer, I did have my reservations. You have proven me wrong. You were very capable, and you did a tremendous job. Congratulations on the Achievement Award from the National Association. Once again, very much deserved. And I think uh, our association has been tremendously improved under your leadership. And I can't help but think that, that some of that has rubbed off on the National Association too under your leadership. So congratulations again. I just want to thank you, Bryce, for the 25 years that you've worked with the HBA. I hope there's a, a whole lot more. And I, I thank you for the impact that you've had in, in my career by encouraging me to, to be involved in the Home Builders Association.